published 1730 EDT, the 6th of September 2017, updated 0349 EDT, the 7th of September 2017. You would think Leonid Slutsky would regret answering his door to the distressed young girl whose cat was stuck up a tree. For what followed changed the life and destiny of an 18-year-old who was making his way as a goalkeeper in the Russian 2nd Division. I was very polite, I couldn't say no, Hull City's coach recalls of that winter's day in Volgograd in 1989. Slutsky, the son of a boxer, hauled himself up the poplar but slipped and fell from 20 feet. Leonid Slutsky likes a joke but had success coaching CSKA Moscow earlier in his career. Slutsky has also coached the Russian national team but he is now focused on his job at Hull now. It is very funny, but not so back then, he says. My left knee broke in 1000 pieces, like glass. Knocked unconscious. The last thing Slutsky saw was the ground. For the next three months, however, the only thing he had to focus on was the ceiling of a Soviet state hospital. When Slutsky looks back on the year he spent in a room with 40 other patients, it is the only time during our conversation that his goofy and infectious smile fades. So does he regret answering the door to his neighbor, a girl called Victoria whose wedding he would later attend and whose parents bought a television set so Slutsky could watch football from his hospital bed. Slutsky's hopes of a long playing career were cut short by an unfortunate accident back home. The Tigers boss still has vivid memories of the year he spent in hospital after an injury when I think, could I go back and live through that year in hospital? The answer is no, I would rather die, he starts. For three months I lay on my back, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't go to the toilet. But now I like to use the expression, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. The doctor told me I would be an invalid, that I would never be able to walk normally, but I did. I was very positive. Many thought I was stupid leaving Russia for England when I tried to recover. My knee would bend one millimeter more every day. For me, that was an unbelievable success. It was like winning the World Cup one millimeter, one millimeter. I survived and I changed my focus. So on the day a footballer died, but a coach was born. With the help of his mother, his father died of cancer when Slutsky was six years old. The young man placed adverts in old Soviet tower blocks in the hope of attracting players to his junior team, Olympia. Not that Lyd Myler, a single mother juggling two jobs, approved of her only child's career choice, especially given his academic excellence. I finished school with a gold medal and in Russia that opens up every university without the need for an exam, he explains. Slutsky pictured speaking with sports males. Craig Hope changed his focus following the blow. The Russian was a sound academic but he chose to pursue a career in football over law. 2000 Olympia Volgograd 20 million 30 2004 Uralana Lista 20 million 50 2007 Moscow 20 million 80 2009 Krelia Sovtov 20 million 90 2016 CSK a Moscow 20 million 150 2016 Russia 2017 present Hull City but I decided to study coaching and physical education. It was an unbelievable shock for my mother. She said I could be anything, a lawyer, a journalist but not a coach we had a serious fight and I won. Had. He lost, Slutsky would not have guided Olympia's youngsters to two all-Russian titles before taking them into the third division of the National Senior League. He would not have won three championships with CSKA Moscow and two Russian Cups, as well as steering the club to the last eight of the Champions League for the first time. He would not have been appointed manager of Russia and led them to Euro 2016, and he would not be sitting here today as the new boss of Skybet Championship Club Hull. This time last year Slutsky barely spoke any English.
Now, the 46-year-old is even dreaming in the language he studied intensively at the Riversdown House Language School in Hampshire, arriving on these shores in January before taking over at the KCOM Stadium in June. So when did he begin to dream of a career in England? The former CSKA Moscow boss opted to study coaching and physical education as a teenager. Slutsky does not regret his decision having enjoyed a successful managerial career to date. I was manager of Russia and CSKA together, says Slutsky, whose resignation was accepted reluctantly after Russia exited last summer's European Championship at the group stage. He left CSKA in December. I was very tired, it was difficult fighting for the title and also managing the national team, there was a lot of attention, he says. One day I thought, no, you have to stop. I need a new challenge. It was a strange decision, only a few of my friends and family supported me. Everyone else thought I was stupid. With his wife and teenage son still in Moscow, Slutsky's closest ally during those early months was Roman Abramovich, the Chelsea owner. Slutsky even lived at Stamford Bridge's Millennium Hotel. He laughs at the suggestion of one day managing Chelsea, but given that Abramovich calls him two to three times a week to talk football, the idea is not absurd. You must deserve your next step, he says. All of my focus is on Hull City. If you dream of the future then you can lose three matches in a row. Then you'll be at home dreaming about a new job in League One. Again, Slutsky laughs. He does that a lot. He is also good at making others laugh. In Russia, he is a regular on comedy shows. Does he have any jokes? Andre Arshavin is, for me, the best Russian player of the 2000s, he says, but everyone also thought he was lazy. We used to joke, when Andre is singing the national anthem before the game he is already tired and must be substituted. Slutsky's closest ally following his departure from CSKA Moscow was Roman Abramovich. Andre Arshavin celebrates scoring for Arsenal against Hull during his time in England. Perhaps the subtleties of the gag are lost in translation but Slutsky isnt done there. There is another gel, he begins, almost breathless. The forest is on fire and him like the blind moose who is running away being chased by Dustiny a friend of Slutsky's, a fellow Russian, roars with laughter in the room next to the manager's office. An angel, perhaps, the blind moose is on a roll. Now seems like the right time to ask about the rap he performed at the wedding of former Russia striker Roman Adamov, who played for Slutsky's under-10 team at Olympia. It is true, I even went to a music studio to record the song, he reveals. It was the story of our relationship. I am so proud that 15 of my Olympia. Players went on to play professionally and Roman and Dennis Colladon won bronze at Euro 2008. I still meet with them every year. They're my second family. But in the song I asked Roman's wife, are you sure about marrying him? I was warning her. Now is your last chance to change your mind. Three Russian Premier League titles means he is a man who knows how to win competitions. Slutsky has brought good humor to the KC. OM Stadium following relegation last season was he drunk? No. I don't like vodka, Slutsky says. I can sing and dance without alcohol, no problem. Will he, then, write and perform a song for his Hull players? Yes, if we win promotion I will sing, rap and dance he returns with a beam. One more question, what happened to the cat? I had hoped the cat would be worse than me, he answers, but no, the cat was fine. It lived for many more years. All things considered, perhaps it was worth climbing that tree after all. Sky Better the proud title sponsor of the EFL. New and existing customers can get a £5 free bet every week with the Sky Bet Club. Terms apply. www.skybet.com